Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have Jamie Salcido here, and he is the founder of a new um, uh, product, and it's for pain. Now, we all know that over one million, I think it's one million people in the United States suffer from chronic pain, and globally, it's, I think it's uh, about 1.5 billion. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, suffer from chronic pain in our world. And, you know, we really need to, you know, figure out a way to help people who suffer from chronic pain or any type of pain. So this is a great segment. I want you to listen to it. You're going to learn a lot. And um, he has an amazing product that he's going to tell you about. And we're going to talk a little about pain in general. So put your ears on and listen. So Jamie, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. Hey, Stacy, Thank you for having me. Um, you pronounced my name perfectly. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great that was awesome. Um, Again, my name is Jamie Salcedo. I'm the founder and CEO of Painless Picasso. We're an all-natural plant-based cream that alleviates the pain associated with tattooing, waxing, laser treatments. We have use cases, use cases, excuse me, of our um of of our customers using the cream and saying that it's worked for muscle pain also. Um, yeah, we're 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 early stage. We're we're early stage startup. I've started this company about a year ago. Uh, this came from me being a tattoo artist, you know, over 13 years. I've been a New York City firefighter for the last seven years. You know, I, I have a, you know, a knack for regulatory compliance and just like really like on the fire side, not, not specifically like pharmaceuticals and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. that's a whole nother world right, that we're getting into. But um, yeah, it, it's, this came from from my, my customers initially in the tattoo industry asking me about numbing creams, right? Mm -hmm. um, people use it. The industry standard right now is lidocaine. I'm sure mm -hmm. you guys know about that. You'll find it in Bengay. You'll find it in Asper cream. You can find it yeah. in, in dentistry, right? To numb the, to numb yeah. the area prior to um, getting your tooth extracted or whatever dental work is going on. Um, that has been the industry standard. I'll give you a little history on lidocaine, right? Let's yeah. get really, really into it. Um, back in the day, uh, they used to take cocaine, put it in Coca-Cola, correct? That's not a myth. That's like the no. original founder of Coca-Cola was actually a pharmacist. And um, they did the same thing in dentistry, right? They would take it, put it in your tooth, extract the tooth. It's just what was used. They found out that it was too addictive, right? Too many people coming back for dentist appointments. We can't use this, right? So they took it, they synthesized it in the lab. They came up with lidocaine, novocaine, prilocaine, benzocaine throughout the years, right? It takes some time. That's just the industry standard. So we're not, we're not demonizing big pharma, essentially, right? It's 5% lidocaine you'll find. That's what the FDA regulates. You know, you'll see that everywhere. It's just more so that there are no all natural alternatives like painless Picasso, right? We're using plant-based ingredients that have been around for ages, right? That yeah. indigenous tribes have used, you know, they would chew on the coca leaf and put it in the wound, right? Like there's all kinds of things. We're not using the coca leaf, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no cane. There's no canes inside of painless Picasso. We use ingredients like, uh, like lecithin, eugenol, you know, that the ingredients that have plant-based ingredients that have topical anesthetic qualities, but they're not pharmaceutical grade ingredients, you know? Right. Um, and yeah, that's, that's where we are, man. We're early stage, a year in, we got, we went through tech stars me as a founder and CEO new to this a year ago. And, um, this is where we are now a year later. It's, um, it's, it's a blessing, you know, it's a lot going on. Things are moving fast, but we plan to be the global all natural alternative to pharmaceuticals, right? That that's the the big idea. We may be we have a cream now. We're working on the spray formulation, but we don't want to get branded, you know, in just skincare, right? We want to let people know that. And I'm going to use this as a disclaimer, right? Because we're substantiating all these terms, so saying pain relief and things like that. But you know, we want to erase discomfort from the canvas of life, right? That's what painless Picasso is about. It's perfecting the art of Painting, essentially right you know it's, it's pretty amazing because you know so many people suffer from you know 
um, pain, you know, people wake up every single day and, and they're fighting pain, you know, it's, uh, it's really, it's really hard, you know, and does this, you know, this is pain cream also help, you know, different types of um, conditions, like maybe arthritis, or any type of um, chronic pain, anything that causes chronic pain? Is there anything specifically that it targets or it really helps to reduce the pain that people are experiencing with many conditions? Yeah, so what I can say is that um, consumers have used the product and we have used cases of it being effective for the areas that you speak of, right? For I had someone with fibromyalgia, right, that came and they're super sensitive, their skin's super sensitive and you know, it, it alleviated that for them, you know, for that particular individual. And as we, as we move forward, right, we start, we're starting off in the tattoo industry because that's my area of expertise, you know, like that's yeah. where I originally had the, the pain point, right? Was consumers right. coming back, they're like, hey, there's high, uh, I'm looking into it, there's high dosages of lidocaine, there's lack of regulation, it's just a free-for-all in the tattoo industry, right? Um, yeah as opposed to the muscle in the, the muscle pain industry, right? Where there's more regulation. There's like more, you know, it's, it's hard. And it's also harder to get into that area because they've monopolized it, right? You know, the big names in, in those industries, yeah. right? So, um, I mean, just to say, you know, Icy Hot cleared 150 million ARR in 2019, right? These guys are killing it out there. They, they know the industry, they've been around for so long, but, but I will say they're all using lidocaine. So it's like, yeah. you know what I mean, it's like they're all using the same thing. There's nobody, there's, they're all dinosaurs and it's time now to really um, bring back the awareness to all natural ingredients that have the same, that, that are, you know, potentially as effective, right? And yeah. needs to be an industry now, you know, that disrupts the market and, and actually gets us back to, you know, what we used to use. And that, you know, when people get, you know, surgery done, a lot of doctors still, you know, subscribe, you know, um, they, they um, subscribe um, oxycodone and they just, you know, and, you know, and that, you know, is, is a very addictive drug and it's, you know, many people have become addicted to it in the past. And, you know, it was very hard for a lot of people to get off of that medication because they immediately became addicted to it, you know, now for people who have surgeries, you know, would this be a, a good alternative to maybe help them, you know, once they get out of surgery and they're in pain and discomfort? So we've had even, you know, use cases of people using it prior to intravenous work, right? Before they go get mm -hmm. drugs and things like that. And if, and it has been effective there also, you know, so the, the implications of the of the cream itself is you know converting it to gel and and working on the spray for cuts wounds scrapes so to prolong the 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 um desensitization you know throughout whatever procedure you're doing right cosmetic yeah. to laser waxing whatever it may be and and starting off there in this industry that that you know we know best and bringing in everything else as we move along so that we we eventually get into all these other areas now, I know you mentioned earlier, one of your inspirations, you mentioned about the numbing cream and being a tattoo artist, people were coming to you and asking you questions. But as being a New York fighter fighter too, I'm sure you've been in many situations where people had suffered severe pain or have developed chronic pain after an incident. Were any of those type of situations and those experiences, um, moments that kind of sparked you to really make this a passion of yours to, to really get you, you know, to think about, you know, what what are some ways I could, you know, what are some things I could do to actually help somebody and, 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 you know, release the pain because there's so many cases where after a fire, you know, and there, you know, people have been in injuries and, and those injury injuries kind of stay with them for the rest of their lives. You know, the side effects of what they've been through. Yeah, no, very true. And that, that goes back to you know, prescriptions, right? Because that's what, that's what happens. They, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, give you a script, you're going to go take it. And when you're ingesting things, it is more effective. I give you that, right. You're going to be, you know, high or whatever it is. And, you know, and the, we all know the side effects of that, you know, we all know the addiction rates and things like that. So, you know, tap in, in the, I'm going to say that the tattoo industry sparked it. And then every other industry that came into it, that people told me about 
you know, um, that really just like ignited it. You know, it, it ignited the passion for me to go forward and provide this same solution for all these other industries, you know. Um, right. And tattooing specifically, like on that, I mean, excuse me, firefighting on that end was, you know, talking about burn creams, essentially, you know, and, you know, and if it comes down to the, the, the alleviating the pain associated with, you know, whatever inj injuries that come down to it. But again, we have to substantiate those terms right now. You know, it's, it's really just consumers using it, giving me the feedback. I'm not saying to go use this for that, right? Like we're in the start of our consumer perception study. We're at the start of our uh, clinical trial so that we can substantiate those terms. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed that people really trust it. You know, they're, they're putting theirs. And I, you know, me, I've used it hundreds of times before I released it, you understand, to anybody. Yeah. Having, I got all kinds of video and pictures of my legs just like shaved and like cream on it <laughs> and scraped up from just, you know, trying this out. So, you know, it's trial and error. It's trial and error, but, you know, in, a, in an ethical way. You know, I have right. the, I have the resources behind me. I have the people behind me that understand the industry, chemists, uh, biotech. Uh, you know, and it's just it's really it's crazy to see that when you when you're passionate about something and you you see the vision, you understand where you want to go with it. How people are willing to help you, you know, uh, execute it. Right. And you said that you do have a, um, you are giving away the product if they come see you and they do the survey. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, sure. So uh, prior to like a double blind study and things like that, we do, it's something like a like a soft clinical trial, if, for lack of a better word, but it's called a consumer perception study. And this study, um, you know, it, it gives you a consensus, you know, of people, you take a quick survey. In this specific one, the incentive is you get a free tattoo, right? So you get a free tattoo, you try out the cream, you fill out a survey prior and a survey after, and you get a free tattoo for life. So it's a quick little survey, uh, you know, it's under an hour tattoo, you're not getting a back piece, you know? <laughs> <laughs> people, people ask all the time, like, hey, can I get this? And I'm like, come on, man, you want the Mona Lisa. And <laughs> so, but yeah, that, you know, it's, it's a great study. We're almost done. There's not, there's actually not a lot of spots left. It's about like five seats left. So wow. if you really want to get in on it, it's going to close soon. Get, you know, hit me up. I'll, I don't know if I, there's a link it's, uh, with Citrus Labs. That's what we're running the study with. Um, yeah, so that's, you know, maybe I'll post it on the as a link with this. Yeah, we could definitely put it in the uh, in the in the description box so people see it also. That'd be cool. Thank you. Now, when you put this cream on, is it do you, does it does it start to work immediately or did you have to give it time? You know, sometimes, you know, it's 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes some some products will work immediately. You know, how does your product work? That's a great question. Um, so it works the same way that every other product works right now in, in the industry. It's whether pharmaceutical or not. You have to take the cream, you apply it on to the area. This and it's it's different for different uh industries. I mean, different right. Apples applications because tat and that's the great thing is that tattooing is so invasive right mm -hmm. um that starting there it, it kind of like gives it, it green lights all these other areas that are not as invasive you know what i mean right so, um you put it on the skin you let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour right mm -hmm. and that's that we want to that we're that the R and D on the R and D side of things that we're working to decrease the times, but again, ethically, right? When a lot of the time when you up the dosages, you make it more effective. There's all kinds of you know hazards to that, so we don't want to do that. It takes some time, again, a year in the in the works, but it's effective. You put it on the skin, forty five minutes to an hour. Uh, tattooing wise, you would put also like a a wrap, like you want to occlude it a bit, so like a plastic. Yeah. Wrap for about an hour to take it off and it, it alleviates the pain for about three hours oh wow that's really good that's really good you know and you just reapply it and then you get you get another three hours out of out of it and you just you and know so the cream the cream you can't use on an open on an open wound you know right I mean? so it has to be a closed one the areas like muscle pain or like that the exterior is not right you can apply it, you can reapply it, 
you know, but right. for areas where you're puncturing the skin in some way, you don't want to apply this cream again. Exactly. Like, the is open. That's why we're working on the spray formulation of it because the spray formulation you can apply when this when the skin is open. Oh, really? Yeah, and the, the skin, the spray formulation you would use to prolong the tattoo process, but also you could use it for cuts, scrapes, wounds. You know, so that's uh, that's the next that's the next evolution of painless Picasso as it was moving forward. I love it. I love it. And you were saying that it's all natural plant plant based products that you use in your in your um your product, painless Picasso. It's because of all natural plant-based ingredients. Um, yeah, that's that's what we're working with right now. It, it, it's effective, you know, um, and I'm, I'm excited to see what comes. We have something big coming in Q4 in October. There's, you know, it's a tentative date, but it's you know, going to have a lot of eyes on it. And um, yeah, we're going to, we're, we're kind of in the, the loading, the, the loading bay, right? Like facing the sky and the rocket, like strapping mm -hmm. up, talking to, um, talking to uh, air control or whatever the hell that, that place is. And mm -hmm. Crossing our T's and dot on our eyes. So this is great. Yeah. Now you were saying that you're in the pre-launch stage. So if they go to your website, they could actually sign up and uh, for, for the product. And then once the product is available, it'll be shipped out to them, correct? Yeah, absolutely. You can go online at painlesspicasso.com and place a pre-order if you like um it's 19.99 for a 1.69 ounce so about two ounces you get 50 ml it's of this pretty little thing here and uh <laughs> yeah you can you can alleviate the pain it should be ready in about they say to turn around 30 to 60 days so you know with with supply chain right now everything going on it's been a nightmare but we're, we're getting it out there we're getting it done just making sure that you know before we release it fully especially on the channel that we're going to release it on uh that everything is up to, up to uh, code that's amazing now and when it when it comes to 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 pain and it comes to um you know dealing with pain do you have suggestions for people because a lot of times people you know they want to run to the doctor and they want to just you know grab a prescription because they just want immediate satisfaction and a lot of times these medications that you know that take away pain have a lot of side effects you know and they could be very harsh side effects too you know, um, do you have advice for people that are, are suffering from chronic pain, like ways that they could deal with it that would be beneficial? And it would, you know, instead of, you know, grabbing a pharmaceutical drug and, and going to their doctor and trying to get a prescription for it. That's a great question. I'm going to say that this is not medical advice. I do not. <laughs> I, no, it's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, it's your opinion. My, my opinion, you should consult some kind of whatever is so you're supposed to consult a doctor or whatever um, as far as when it comes to those type of, uh, you know, medical claims. But, um, yeah, I would say that in my upbringing, right, in my experience, that I've always been one to just look up all natural terms, right? I've always looked into the history of things, and that, that would be my sound advice just as a human being, you know, like yeah. that. Is, there's nothing new under the sun history repeats itself you know so just go back into the books you know and research alternatives that are out there there's chinese medicine there's meditation you know there's ways of of the, the brain is essentially the control system to pain mm -hmm. I, I met a guy not too long ago that's working on something that it was it was amazing. I, I couldn't even, I can't even explain it fully. Like what he was doing, it was like he was he was basically like he's able with pain. He was he's made he's like pain management, but doing something with the brain that's capable of like shutting off the nerve receptors in in like certain parts of the body, like right. experiencing it here. So again, again, like there's all kinds of alternatives to pain. You know, you don't have to go swallow a pill, you know, or you know, do some take some something that's going to have some adverse side effects oh definitely definitely now if you had to like um 
you know, look at our conversation today and you wanted to break it down and you wanted to give a couple of takeaways to the listeners to really emphasize, like, what are some of those things that you'd like to emphasize to, to the listeners today? Well, because it's the advisor, it was Stacy, right? Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to advise that whatever it is you're doing right now the, to the listener, like whatever it is you're doing, like, don't quit. That's number one. Like if this yeah. is whatever you're doing, life is hard. And like everybody complains nowadays, like, you know, like just get it done, get it done, make it happen. Find there are people that want to help you. There are people that want to help you. You have to find them. It's not easy, but yeah, you know, it, and it, it can be done. That's number one, no matter what. Right. You're Two, as far as um, alleviating, um, you know, and that painless Picasso, right? We're erasing discomfort from the canvas of life where, perfecting the art of you know these numbing solutions or and so it's uh i would say again alternatives right there's alternatives there's holistic alternatives there's all natural alternatives to you know things that we're now finding out have adverse side effects um and i i guess number three just um i don't know be kind this is hard out yeah. there it's hard out exactly. there exactly you know, I see a lot, you know, when it comes down to firefighting, like I'm still active, you know, I do a 24 hour tour, you know, I'm still, I'm more committed. I can't even tattoo right now. I'm, I'm so committed to the company that like all my time is really dedicated to making sure that I bring this to the masses. So yeah. firefighting is still my passion. I still love it. I still go to work every day with a smile on my face. I love it. You know, but um, I see a lot. I see a lot of bad. I see I see the good, you know, I'm there to alleviate. I'm here to like, I feel like that's my life's form, man. It's just to alleviate pain wherever I can, you know, yeah. that, to really be a, a vessel of light to people that don't, that don't have it. Yeah. And so, yeah, be nice, man. I, you don't know what that person's going through, you know, so. Right. Be kind to each other and, you know, do something good today. And I always feel like, you know, like, you know, a lot of times people, you know, a lot of people have invisibility, invisible conditions, you know, where it doesn't show on the outside, but they're suffering on the inside. And a lot of times when people suffer from chronic pain, it's, you know, you can't really see it. You know, you know, those people could be walking around, they could be in chronic pain and they're just sucking it up. They're doing their best to just, you know, chug along each day is a struggle, but they're getting through it day by day. And I always feel like, you know, you, you really have to really think about, you know, what you, you know, how you talk to people, what you do and always, you know, lay out a helping hand to people because you, you never, you, you never know, like one thing you say or one thing you do can change a person's life, you know, and sometimes people don't realize the littlest things in life could be the, you know, such an impact on somebody else's life. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And on that point about, you know, that chronic pain point. Uh, it's you know, Painless Picasso gets put in the skincare brand category, right? Mm-hmm. And that's okay. We, we're essentially right now that's what we are. But the same way these major corporations develop, you know, uh, develop from a book company to Amazon, you know, yeah, we're gonna go from these creams to the spray that we're working on to you know being next to Tylenol, being next to Motrin, you know, like we right. want. To- all natural pain relief wherever it is you know and so yeah that's that's the the beauty of and the vision that i've had since its inception now you're going to be on you're going to you'll have this on your website and you're going to have it on a certain channel once it's launched now will you also have it on amazon will it be available to people too on amazon yeah it will be available and just, just stay tuned. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I can't, I can't really disclose it, but you're in the right, you're, you're in the right, like ballpark right now and everything that you're talking about. So yeah, it's available at painlesspicasso.com. We started, um, you know, a crowd, like crowdfunding, essentially, you know, you can look for that. If you look up painless Picasso out there, I'm on LinkedIn, Jamie Salcedo, you put in painless Picasso, the IP is there. We're, we're heavy on that. We're going to, we're going to push it. And, you know, I'm, I'm really excited to you know, speak with you, Stacey. Thank you for what you're doing. You know, it's, oh, it, thank you. There's a lot to us founders and just P just, you know, on, the, on any, you know, advisory that, that we need in life. So you're an instrumental part of that. We appreciate Thank it. you very much. I appreciate you. I appreciate that 
you are really, you know, getting out there and, and helping people who suffer from, you know, chronic pain, because, you know, I, I know so many people, even myself who, who suffer from that chronic pain. And, you know, it, it, it means it, it's a lot to be able to have somebody to create a product that will help somebody, you know, any product or any service that's going to help somebody really, you know, um, release that pain, because when you're in pain, it's very hard to cope with life. It's very hard to do anything. You know, people, you know, some people have to go on disability because they can't work. Some people can't, you know, some people just, you know, aren't able to go up the stairs anymore. Some people, you know, they just can't get out of their chairs anymore. They can't do their daily routine anymore. You know, their lives change completely. And not only does that affect people physically, but it affects them emotionally. You know, it's something, you know, it's like that all around circle that we, we represent, we represent, you know, mental health, physical health, spiritual health. And we also talk about business because if you're not, if you're not, if you're in chronic pain, how are you going to go to your job? and be able to do your job when you're in chronic pain. So your whole life is disrupted when you're in pain. So having a product like yours on the market that can help people and it's natural, which is 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 huge, you know, it's 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 a lot when you you can take a product, you know, and it's natural and you don't have to take something that, you know, it is, you know, that could lead to problems in the future. And so I commend you and I thank you for the effort you're making to help billions of people out there, you know, change their lives and improve the quality of their lives because, you know, you know, people want to live. We want to be happy, healthy, productive individuals, you know, and you're out there and you're trying to make it happen and you are making it happen because you have product number one and now product number two is on the way. And, you know, and shortly we're going to be able to see and use those products. So I'm very excited for you. And I thank you for, you know, taking the time, the effort and doing what you're doing. And, you know, you're a very special individual. And I, I thank you so much, Jamie, for being on our show. That means a lot, Stacey. Thank you so much. I'm trying, man. I'm working hard out here. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Not perfect, but. I assure you my intention is pure and I really, you know, want people to have these solutions at hand. So thank you for your doing also. And, you know, I hope to catch up soon. Yes. Same here. Same here. And you have a great day. Have a good one.